Welcome to Fundamental of Electrical Engineering. Uh, in this um, section is mostly introduction to the field and access to some resources that are available. Electrical engineering is a wide, uh, wide uh, range uh, field. Um, the electrical engineers are involved in a various type of activity here on you you will see a list of uh, uh, programs that are available um, one of the ones that most of us interact with, uh, with is the communication field uh, your cell phone satellite communication microwave communication cable TV you watch and all of that all of those devices both the transmitter receiver has are designed by electrical engineers um, computers uh, is another field uh, which is a which is has a large population of electrical engineers participating in sometimes referred to as embedded system um, um, and this is basically folks who design let's let's take the cell phone those are the folks who've designed um, how the um, electronics of the cell phone goes together, how the GPS works, how your USB, Bluetooth, all those subcomponents in your device works. And uh, then as the, then they write the software uh, that brings the system to a point where applications can run. At that point, very commonly, a computer scientist gets involved to write the actual app that runs on the, on the device. But to get the device to a point where it can handle apps is the responsibility of the computer engineers or embedded system designers. Another large field of uh, electrical engineering is called uh, electromagnetic and fields. Um, that's, uh, again, all the motors you see. Um, a lot of robotic gets in this involved. A lot of medicine uses uh, knowledge from that field as well. Digital circuit and electronics is another variation on the embedded system work. And it gets a little more deeper potentially into uh, systems that don't look like a computer. For example, if you're driving a car that was built after uh, 2000 or even 1995 or so, you probably have anywhere from 20 to 30 different uh, embedded computers in there and those are all pretty much designed by electrical engineers and computer engineers and uh, that control whether the fuel system that controls the navigation controls the early warning systems or whatever else networking of course computer networking is a big a fair field that electrical engineers get into routers and um, switches and things of that nature power and energy well somebody has to design systems that generate the energy someone has to design the network that brings you the energy whether that is another f alternative energy or is the traditional um, hydro hydroelectric or uh, gas powered or coal powered um, but uh, again this uh, the new field that is getting started here is the alternative energy and alternative energy will basically you know you could uh, specialize in ocean um, getting electricity from ocean waves uh, to uh, solar to um, to wind our biggest uh, alternative energy if you want to think about it is and the most developed one is the hydro in our area in the northwest uh, washington and uh, northwest in general uh, Bonneville Dam is a big supplier of electricity for us. Of course, robotic is another field that folks uh, um, get involved in. This field kind of integrate many of the previous fields we've talked about. There's computers in there. There are motors, electromagnetic. There's communication. There's networking. All of that embedded in there. And then another large field that electrical engineers get into is uh, semiconductors. That would be folks like Intel, Taiwan, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, SEH America, where we design the chips that are the foundation of everything else. Uh, more recently, sensors have become a big area where electrical engineers get involved, and that is taking all the uh, effects all the things that are happening in the world and translating it into the voltage and current so it could be sensed uh, and stored on electrical devices um, that could range from nowadays you can have a device that of course senses the light senses the temperature those are more traditional stuff or now we have devices that can translate your 
uh, smell, sense of smell into electrical senses or of course vision has been around for a long time and there's many many more for example DNA we have devices that are able to take a blood sample and translate that to the DNA components uh, that are in the blood system. Control is another major area that's when devices um, that uh, need uh, feedback, uh, you sense, you change what you're doing um, based on the changing bio biomedical is a pretty big space as well that's where a lot of engineers going to like if you go to a hospital and somebody takes your blood pressure or take your heart rate or more sophisticated stuff like x-ray um, MRI machine all of those are designed by electrical engineers um, photonic is another one uh, uh, where um, we are using light to do a fair amount of the um, uh, computation or effect of the world around us. Uh, machine learning is another one. Machine learning and uh, um, um, machine learning is another one that uh, would be uh, beneficial for more of us to think about as an area that's taking all of the systems that are earlier plus the control system and kind of making determination a lot of the people who work in both uh, these two spaces are interested in virtual reality systems and um, and also um, digital signal processing which is also part of the electrical engineering uh, dig uh, digital signal processing uh, motion systems of any sort, more or less, this relates to people who design a lot of robotics and things like that. Nowadays, we are, are able to design systems that are extremely small. They are commonly referred to as microelectronic, uh, mi microelectromechanical devices or MEM devices. And those are in the micrometer um, sizes, pretty. And then more and more, we are moving into nano devices. Uh, uh, in the electronics. So this, uh, this is giving you an overview of the range of uh, systems that are available out there for you uh, or fields of electrical engineering that are available for you to specialize on. Um, th this, this course has been delivered um, in segments, small videos that are focused on one topic.